Sometimes you have a better idea of who Generation Alpha is, so born from 2010 to 2024, so actually a bit scary because next year we're going into a new generation. My prediction is Generation Beta, but let's see. <laughs> That's the foresight in me coming through. But now that we understand the generation, we can look more into the drivers of this this generation of this problem of what the generation of the student wants from higher education in the future. So here we identified our internal and our external drivers, our internal drivers referring to our higher education development as well as generation alpha and our external drivers which is influencing the development and growth of our internal factors which is the millennial parent as well as technological advancement. So firstly, looking at higher education development, we looked at the juxtaposition between the economic constraints in South Africa versus that increased demand for innovation and technology. So investigating how we can achieve that with equity and innovation in higher education. And through our literature, we then discovered with the rise of the pandemic, we saw demand in e-learning. So is direction going from a student-centered approach or a teacher-centered approach to a more student-centered approach? So going forward in this presentation, I will no longer refer to a teaching and learning strategy, but a learning and teaching strategy, putting the student first. Moving along to our generation alpha, I mentioned that this is our last generation. So born into the digital era, this generation has two main characteristics. Firstly, that they engage with multiple screens, they love multitasking. We've seen Generation Alpha engaging with their parents' tablets since they were little toddlers. So we know that they do engage with multiple screens from a young age and carrying that through in their educational development as well. I know we've got a few um, arguments building on that, which I think can create, creates a great argument for later. Um, also, the second characteristic of our generation of the student is that they want a personalized educational experience. So they want that peer-to-peer -peer engagement, problem solving with their peers. They want that intricate engagement with their educational experience. Then moving on to our external drivers, the millennial parents. These students or generation of the students are so driven to technological advancements because the millennial parents are very acceptant of technological advancements. They really push for studies for self-actualization in comparison to their previous generations of Generation X and Generation Boomers that really push more for traditional higher education. So here we look towards for self-actualization needs. And millennial parents are accepted of in integrating AI, virtual reality, and robotics into higher education. And then finally, that technological development. So here we looked into Society 5.0. So looking at the integration of the fourth and fifth industrial revolution, really looking at creating that hybridized lifestyle. So when man and machine comes together so that we can coexist and evolve into the future.